Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our tutorial series on uh, hard surface or sub D. Okie dokie, so let's make a plane. Increase by 10, assign new material, lumber, and then want to have something shiny, yeah. Okay, under file, let's hook our texture. I've just prepared, whoops, not in there. Boom, 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 okay. Let's check this out. It should be free. Okay, okay. Press 6 in order to view it. And uh, yeah, we have it. As you can see. And uh, yeah, today we will be modeling this part and uh, it has some caveats, so it can be difficult in one area, but oh well. Let's create a cylinder, assign the, again new material, let's make it transparent. Yep. Very good. Let's remove shininess. Wonderful. Okay, so just increase it. Let's move to the top view. Enable the shaded view. Yeah, something like that. Great. And uh, for our divisions, probably again, I will pick 24. As you can see, it's fitting these areas. I don't know. Uh, how many we need in here? Probably 16, but I'm just trying to eyeball, so no, just a guess. We will see. Okay, I will enable wireframe. Okay, so in here I believe it's plenty you can reduce to 16 and it's too too much too much and I'm not sure if that will angle will bend correctly and then with the second we will cover one two three four five Not cool. hmm. That's 16. It will be 15. And that one goes to there. That one goes to there. Okay, for team probably, and let's stick with fourteen. Probably, you know, I need to rotate it like that, something like that. Okay, I will remove that increment. Oops. I mean, like something like this, in order to stay with the line okay. close like that and uh, it will be 14 we can just throw all this edges down here okay so let's let's try with the 14 we will see how to win and uh, yeah later on we will just duplicate it okay no problem just select it, clear it, everything, just do boolean, boom, okay, and just try to connect the dots, yeah, and uh, yeah, so, it's annoying, but what can I do? 
Something really terrible. I was counting when I was counting. It was looking a bit better, but oh well. We will check if everything will went fine or not. Done. Yep. We need to try it. Yes, and you think that works. Okay. Let's check this out and try to merge it. And just delete uh, those which we don't need it. Okay, let's keep this part definitely and uh, for this area stick it to the points okay and probably in here we can just do the loop and it will be everything in quads and uh, in here I will do the same thing so merge it delete this too Great, I don't know why there's it. Oh, need to delete this extra things in here. Okay, we still move these two inverted ones, which are just floating. We couldn't merge it. Okay, so let's select this one and just okay, we cannot insert it like that. So let's do it. Manual way, presents of the okay. So, in the middle, um, there was a snap of a shift in the middle of the line. So, as you can see, we created this loop, let's say, and uh, yeah. We have again quads. Wonderful. We need to do the same thing on the bottom. Enable the cut tool, press shift and try oops and try to go through the middle line. The process as you can see. Simple like that. Okay, and just connect the dots. And we don't need these lines. So oops. Just delete them. Okay, great. We back on track. We in the quads. Great. Okay, so what we can do right now? Delete one half. Oh, move our pivot in the, into the center, and uh, let's move our. I've just removed our. Absolutely. Okay, just remove the the snap on the rotation. So bring back this option. Okay, just combine it, select everything, and merge. As you can see everything is merged. So let's select loop, extrude it, offset. Okay, so basically. I can see it will start somewhere from here. Now we need to have a, or you know, I'm playing too much. Let's go to a top. Need just to have it, and that's it. And uh, yeah, later we will play with the details and other stuff. But now we need to create Great. Okay. Something like that. Extrude it. Awesome. We have. Okay, and uh, for this part, we 
well, probably do one move in here, maintain the distance and the shape, and in here we will play with a uh, boolean. So let's create a cylinder, so twelve edges. You can see. So um, yeah, so I'll just play with that. Let's see what we will get in there. We will try to. Okay, let's move it like that. And it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like it's fitting. Maybe not very correctly, but we will try to align it. Okay, okay. Just do something like that will be good. Just select object, select the mesh, please clear everything, boolean. And let's make a difference. Awesome. So let's start assigning dots. Simple like that, yep. Yeah? Okay, so let's go to the vertex mode. Go and in the quadro and try to snap them slowly moving to, to our goal to create this mesh. We won't give up. Okay, so as you can see, you can see we connected all the dots. Everything looking fine. So we have uh, what's everywhere. Super awesome. Okay, so I will try to delete again. I'll Duplicate and rotate it. Merge everything. This looks like working. Yeah. Okay, I will remove the transparency right now. Want to check this out? Uh, check the shape. Okay, so uh, yeah, right now we can start working on the base. So uh, this part probably should be like a bending more. Just do bevel, or increase it a bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe something like that. No, kind of like more rubber. Okay, for uh, this part. Mm-hmm. For this part, yeah, you know, probably I will stick to that area right now. I want to have a middle, rate it properly, and uh, yeah, later we'll check other areas. Okay, because it it's looks like like a rubber, you know. This uh, this plugin, let's say. So this is using my shape so different and uh, doesn't have so uh, hard corners, let's say. Okay, yeah, I will leave it. Oh. Okay, and uh, in here definitely we need to. Play again with a boolean. Mm -hmm. Probably point five and uh, like a default here. Yeah. And just remove the 
FM in order to check it. How to look. We don't need that image anymore. I don't know if we want to have that bending line, let's say. In here. Maybe something like that. More subtle, let's say. I don't know. For me, it's looking pretty good, let's say. I will do only the bevel thing in the base areas for now. And uh, on the bottom as well. Definitely. Oh. Isn't that great? Okay, so we moving forward, and uh, what we can do next, we can create a pin. Yep. In a second, let's put on a different layer. Okay, we have a pin here and the bolts. As I mentioned before, with the bolts, we will work a little bit later. Okay, so uh, hmm. Uh, Okay, let's create a cylinder. 16 probably. Should be enough. Second, how many more is in there for a 24? In here, okay. So we can play with 24 definitely, but uh, I don't know. Okay, no, let's let's do it. Twenty-four. It will be the same as uh, this one. Okay. So we have uh, something like that. Wonderful. Let's set a bit. Okay. Let's isolate it. And uh, yeah, we'll delete these lines. Let's align it. Do the bridge command and uh, it twisted so let's play with that or probably with a what the hell bridge offset okay and uh let's twist okay okay so as you can see we have one part and uh if we will check the image the another part somewhere in here. Okay, I'll move to the top in order to see better. And for me, it looks too, too, too much of uh, geometry, but Oh well. Okay, and uh, for um, last one, we can create a cylinder, but definitely we'll reduce the geo to eight, probably. Something like that it will be good enough, and probably I will reduce that one too. Okay, so. What we will do in this scenario, we'll try to offset a bit, exclude a bit. Okay. Yeah, set. And let's make a needle. 
or if I hope so you do. I'm not sure, but maybe needle, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So let's do bevel in here. Water to maintain the shape. Um, pretty awesome. So this one a bit inside. Needle. So I need to penetrate it. Okay, probably for for for, for this part, I'll uh, do definitely lower amount because it's a it's a madness it overload. Same. So maybe sixteen. Okay, so I'm not saying anything. So 16 is good. It's great, yeah? Okay. So 60 is great. We got permissions from you. Okay, so let's isolate it. Select everything. Select. Bridget. Like it. Great. So, what do we have? We have a uh, some kind of connectors, let's say, and uh, definitely we need to smooth them in order to look a bit better. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smooth. Second, we need to shrink a bit down. Something like that. Okay. So this guy, the same thing, but uh, yeah, we need to do another thing in here. And let me think. Okay, so thinking, you know, to do some cleanup on. These two guys first, and in order, as you as you saw, I've just deleted the bottom in order to maintain the shape without any additional geo. So don't need uh, you know any extra loop in order to hold this because we won't see that bottom part in case you will need it to, uh, let's say, take this needle from there. Yeah, you can keep it. You can add the uh, more divisions. Great, and um, you know, I'm thinking to add right now uh, material for them in order to, to see better the reflections. And um, right now, as you can see, we have this uh, cut in the main, this metal ring. So, uh, it will be somewhere here. So, let's select that. We have a bottom part. Great. Uh, what we can do so we can select this part and just delete it and double click it and double click it and to the hole double click it G to repeat command great so yeah we need divisions okay so uh, great let's add some divisions can see probably seven will be good. I'm trying to maintain the quads. That's right. Great looking quads. Okay, so um, yeah, what we'll do next? Um, give me a second. I will try to check this out again. I will probably throw it on the ladder. It will be easier to hide it for me. And uh, yeah, this cut will. Turn into the left direction. So great. I will 
in everything history and uh, yeah so so probably I will make a copy and uh, just in case of the failure I will go to a D form nonlinear twist awesome so for a twist we have a low bound high bound which mean where the bending will start from which place in case you want to that out can start bending you see the bend angle starts here the bottom part not touched okay so uh, let's play with that and uh, 0.5 no spray 0.4 let's let's select the 0.5 and here i will try to do 0.5 as well maybe 0.6 Maybe even better. And for a bottom side, we'll do the same thing. Great. So, uh, yeah, we have something like this. We have that bending. Great. So we can uh, just clear the history in order to remove the twisting tool. Yeah. And uh, check how it will look. And it looks pretty good however we need a bit sharper edges you know some metal yeah okay so what we can do we can select the basis I will transform selection to the perimeter in order to get the lines and just ctrl B in order to have a boolean I will remove the chamfer and we have uh, something like that I will increase the fractions I don't want to have a um, you know very very sharp or okay so at the first instance I will leave it at one and let's check this out how it will look to remove the wireframe and uh, yeah I don't like it great so maybe we will we will add some sharpness in here but we start getting this you know like a shadow line which i don't like it too we need to play it uh, probably we need to maintain it or we can add in here like a loop we can remove that okay so let me think uh huh. What I can do in this situation for the top part, it's a uh, easy. We can red. Let's do redirections. You know, I will select the multi cut tool. Just go around it. Close it in here. Okay. What the hell is going on? Okay, so probably it cannot see the line. Maya cannot see the line. I mean, it's a strange script, but oh well. We have what we have. Okay, so we have this corner will be sharper. Great. And uh, this lines, uh huh. You must have like them. Okay, so we can select the again the faces and just uh, insert or connect. Okay. Go through there, connect. Okay, I will need two lines and probably I will pinch to the sides a bit. Let's check somehow it will look. Definitely looking better. Not great, but better. Okay, okay. So um, this lines is not signed. Let's add them. 
Okay, from this perspective, we have what we need. Some uh, top lines. Everything looks now great too when we edit this uh, to connect lines. Okay. In case you want to play with these lines, I know if 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 you. Let me see. So if we will do the same thing, like on the top, same connection, closing, let's say for sharper angles in here for a bottom part, we can probably delete one line, this line, and we won't get that uh, let's say strange or probably not strange highlights but uh, okay so delete it so we have a little bit see this darker edge yeah so we can try to remove it and yeah right now as you can see it's a good great what about these angles let me see we can move that edge to the top and we will get much sharper angle in here same for a uh, whoopsie or the bottom part okay so yeah, easy like that we getting this part so i will enable that there we will not need that one i will just hide it okay doke so yeah we've completed the no which one is a third shape yeah awesome we can save it right now very cool and uh, yeah, stay tuned. We will proceed with the hard surface uh, sub D modeling. And uh, yeah, when we adopt this uh, basic level of uh, sub D and um, hard surface, we will move further. Yeah, stay tuned.